and hello YouTube, this is GS Mammoth Smart, and I'm today with a brand new video for the tutorials of GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Guild Wars 2, and as you see, we are loading in, so I may as well do the uh, little intro and tell you guys what this video is about while we wait. But uh, if you remember quite a while ago, last year, our fifth easy gold trick video in the 1.0 series dealt with crafting. Uh, quite recently, in our last Q&A, and in some of the other comments in the videos, some people have been asking me if crafting is profitable if it's worth it really and today I sort of want to uh, dive into that and see if it's worth it uh, last year when we did this video in the 1.0 series uh, crafting was worth it and there were a lot of things you could make a lot of profit off of um, a lot of recipes that um, you could even buy all the materials for a recipe and then when you make the actual item even though you bought everything you didn't have any you bought every single item that you needed to craft it, even though you did that, you still made a profit off of uh, selling the item, and you could make like three gold extra, even though you didn't have any of the items. So last year, the the method worked very well. Uh, this year, I'm not really sure. I've I've taken a glimpse at some of the recipes. I've taken a glimpse at some of the uh, profit you can make, and I'll be honest with you, I there was there was a lot more to get last year. So um. At a first glance, there isn't much profit to be made anymore, but there's still there's still a good amount of profit to be made. Now, if it's if it's worth to go through 500 levels of crafting, or 400 levels of crafting just to, you know, make make a few gold that you can that you can make somewhere else. Also, I'm not sure, um, but we're gonna take a look a little more in detail. Uh, through the websites that we are using today and through the game as you see we're actually on my guardian today I, I don't I don't usually go on this character, but He looks pretty cool. I basically geared him up this way And I made him look like a real guardian it looks pretty cool But we're gonna be using our guardian today because he's a jeweler and I want to experiment uh, this method with jewelry Because that tends to have a lot of profit um I'm gonna show you that there's a lot of stuff you can do in tailoring as well that will give you profit, but it seems like it seems like a lot of people have learned about this method and um, the profit that can be made from this method isn't as big as it was last year, but it is still very much so doable. And the two websites we're gonna be using are Guild Wars 2 Spidey and we're gonna be using Guild Wars 2 Shiny. Now, just a quick disclaimer, if you if you aren't familiar with how to use Guild Wars 2 Spidey, um, you may want to watch the original video of this. It's basically sort of the same thing I'm explaining now. Uh, we're just going to go a little more in detail this time as far as if it's valuable or not. But how to use the website, how to analyze supply and demand, uh, how to analyze what you should be crafting. That's going to be in the uh, video that's linked below. There's also an annotation on a card right now because I really don't want to explain that entire thing again. We'll make the video very long. Uh, so if you don't know anything about supply and demand, then uh, watch the other video. I will touch on it real quick right now, though. So let me go ahead and go to Rata Zoom. That's where we're going to be crafting. And then we're going to take a look at the websites that we're going to be using to see. So let me go ahead and change the uh, screen. All right, so here we are on Guild Wars 2 Shinies. And we're basically going to be using this website to see if an item is worth to craft. Now, as I said, just a quick note on supply and demand. Something like this would be really good to invest in because we see that the uh, supply is pretty high and the demand is pretty low. Now, generally, if the supply is higher than the demand, I mean, sorry, that was my bad. That's not what I, that's not what I meant to say. Um, if the demand is higher than the supply, in fact, uh, yesterday, demand was really high and supply was really low. Uh, yesterday, it would have been actually really good to craft this, but I think the black diamond really fluctuates a lot between having a lot of supply and having a lot of demand, depending on the Arik Basin event finished. But as you see, this is a pretty good item to craft if it was craftable. Obviously, it's not craftable because it's, it's an item you get from um, from an event. But when you see something like this where, where demand is low, or where demand is high, high demand, low supply, that's actually good. Uh, and if supply and demand are very similar, very close to each other, that's also good. But you don't want to invest your gold in something that has a huge supply and that has a very low demand because no one's going to want to buy it. So that's something you have to look at when you are um, 
when you're deciding what to craft, you want to make sure that what you're crafting is actually going to be bought. Uh, another note, when you're finding what to craft, don't craft like 12 of them. Don't craft like 20 of the same thing. Because what happens is that you're not going to sell all 12 or 20 of them um, when someone buys it. When someone buys the item, they're probably going to buy one only. Or maybe they'll buy two. And then, you know, it's going to take you maybe another two hours to sell the next one. Or maybe another two hours to sell the next one. By that time, someone's probably going to undercut you already. So when you're deciding what to craft, check the graphs here on Guild Wars 2 Shinies. All you got to do is type in the name here on the top right corner. And make sure that you're not crafting you know, 12 of them or 20 of them because you're not going to sell all of them. And then if you do make them and you put them on sale, they're probably going to get undercut and you take them off and you have to put them back on and that wastes more money. So that's basically how we're going to be using Guild Wars 2 Shinies. Um, not really much else. In crafting section, they don't really have anything. I don't know why they don't have what Guild Wars 2 Spidey has. Uh, they don't really tell us profit made, you know, all that stuff. I don't know why, but that's unfortunate. So uh, Guild Wars 2 Spidey is what we're going to be using. If we go up to crafting right here, and by the way, links to all this is going to be in the description as usual. Uh, crafting up here. Uh, you can pick what profession you want. We're going to be looking at jeweler. But let's look at tailoring real quick. Uh, because I want to see if you can still make a lot of profit here. Last year, you can make a lot of profit off of the Exalted gear. And as you see right now, there's a bunch of stuff here. Obviously, this right here. Uh, an another another warning I want to show you guys. Uh, don't don't invest your don't invest your um, money into something like this where it's like really really low supply and then a huge amount of demand um most of the time this is going to be where people are willing to buy it at you know at a at this price and people are just selling it for absurd values like this no one's going to buy this so don't invest your money into into stuff that has a really really low supply and then a super high demand because most likely it's not going to sell and uh, something that has a very huge margin. Look at this. This is like a this is like a huge margin here, uh, like fifty gold margin here. You know, don't don't invest your gold in something that has a huge margin like this. Uh, you you know what looks obscure and kind of fishy and unrealistic. You know, uh, look for more realistic things. So anyway, if we go ahead and go to page two here, uh, let's see the uh, exalted gear still sells for quite a bit. Ah, look, they do. So this is the things you can make for tailoring. As you see, the exalted mantle. Uh, you can actually buy all the materials for 10 gold and then sell it for uh, 15 gold and you make a two gold profit. And the supply and demand is fairly well. Uh, supply is only at 20 and demand is at 57. So this is something that a lot of people would want to buy. But as you see, uh, last year there was a lot more you could actually invest in. Um, now it seems like things have dwindled a little bit, but not so much really. Even the Gossamer Intricate Sigma, uh, Insignia, you can make for three gold uh, and then sell for six, and you're making a one gold profit. So as you see, uh, tailoring is very, if it's very profitable, you can actually make a lot of profit off tailoring. Um, so yeah, um, if we take a look at, for example, jewelering, which is, oops, not jewelering, uh, jewelering, that's what we're going to be doing today. So I guess it isn't that bad. I guess a lot of stuff is still profitable. I thought it'd be worse, but I guess it's, I guess it's still profitable. Um, as you see here, we're going to try to make, what can we make here today? What's so good? Something, something along here, something along here, maybe let's make, all right. So we're going to go ahead and make the barrel mithril ring. Uh, you see, you're only going to make 42 silver profit. Um, but you, know, you, you could, uh, you could do something a little higher. You could do, uh, the Azerite stuff. Uh, where is it? Like here, the Az uh, where where's the Azerite? The Azerite stuff sends us to the Azerite Orchalum amulet. You could do this. I've done this before. I've done the Azerite thing before, and it, it actually sells. It takes a while because um, you see the uh, the margin here is pretty big, but Azerite does work. The problem is you're gonna be using thirty gold almost, and then selling for forty. So um, this may take a while to sell, but. You know, just uh, try to put yourself into the buyer's shoes. Would you want to buy a jewel for <laughs> for 40 gold? I, mean, I wouldn't. I'd probably go with something a little cheaper. So uh, I'd probably, you know, buy something like this. You could probably make this even. Uh, this makes a good amount of profit, or this makes a good amount of profit. So this too. So yeah, but we're going to making the uh, the barrel. Where is it at? The barrel mithril ring. Now, if you take a look at this, if you if you buy all the materials, you have to buy it for this amount. If you sell it, then you get one gold out of it. So the profit is 42. 
The supply and demand is very good as well. Only 72 in the, 79 in supply and demand is 463. Is that right or am I getting them mixed up? No, yeah. Supply is low and demand is high. So this is a really good investment here. Um, I, I would probably make about two or three of these. I'm just going to make one though for tutorial just to, uh, for tutorial purposes that I want to, you know, make the video too long. But uh, I think here you can make two because people sometimes will want to buy two rings. So you can make almost a gold profit here. If you don't have any of the materials, well then you're basically going to make a gold profit almost. However, if you have some of the, some of the materials you have, then you're going to make more gold off of this. So you'll make even more of a profit. So whatever materials you have, use them. Uh, don't, don't buy, let's see what we need here. Don't buy like, um, you know, if you have mithril, then don't buy these off the trading post because you can just make them yourself. You don't need to, you don't need to go and you know buy them for, for this amount of silver if you have them. But yeah, so if you click the if you click the item, it'll bring you to this page. It'll tell you how much everything costs. So it'll give you a total. It'll cost you fifty seven silvers. And now over here, it it takes off the listing fee, it takes off the transaction fee, and it tells you how much you can sell it for. And this is gonna be forty two profit. You're gonna make forty two silver in profit. Now, obviously, we have some of these materials. So for us, we're going to make even more profit. So yes, when you look at it like this, crafting can be very profitable. It can be very valuable, um, especially in items that are like level 80 because people constantly want to, you know, have their gear set to max. But even, even uh, you know, going every 10 levels, like 50 gear, 60 gear, some people actually do go in a training post and they'll buy like their 50 gear, their 60 gear. I mean, I used to do it. So, you know, don't be don't be afraid to uh, craft different things. Don't be afraid to craft, you know, some tailoring, do some crafting weaponsmithing, do some crafting armorsmithing. Just use this website and make sure that the supply and demand are relatively close or supply is rather low. Then it's a good investment. And make sure that the, the margins aren't, you know, huge margin, 30 gold margin. It's ridiculous. As long as you're realistic about it and as long as you would think, hey, this is something I probably want to buy at this price, then, you know, yeah, you could do it. So anyway, um, I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to buy all this off the trading post just to show you guys that even if you don't have anything, even if you don't have any of the materials, you can still make a profit. I could obviously uh, craft this pretty easily because I don't need to buy any of this stuff. I could probably craft this very easily. Like, for example, this, I could save myself three silver. Uh, this, I could save myself another three silver. I'm probably making another seven silver extra. So instead of making 42 silver, I'm making almost 50 silver. And I probably have some of these materials as well. But just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to use any of my materials. I'm going to buy everything off the trading post just to show you guys that we're still making a profit. All right, so we are here in Radisum. Love to go in this place to craft. Everything's very close by. So let me go ahead and pick up all my gold here. So right now we are 23 gold and 18 silver. Let's make sure we remember that. What we need to do is buy three of these. And uh, are these are these the rare ones? Are we supposed to buy the rare kind? Oh no, we need to buy the exotic kind. Is the exotic kind even here? Okay, so this is actually the one. It is a it is a rare quality. Okay, so we need to buy three of these. Um, now when you're doing this, you could uh, you could uh, order the item as well. And they should fill in. And actually, if you order the items, you'll actually make more profit because what's ha what happens is that the website goes off of buying instantly. So you very well could make a lot more profit if you just made a list of things that you need. Like say one night you're sitting down, okay, let's make a list of things that I need. Uh, these are the items I'm gonna craft. These are the items that I need. I make a list of them, write them down or write them on a, on a notepad. And then, um, you know, right before you, go, right before you go to bed, just order these items with a, with a buy order and you'll save yourself money because if we take a look at this, you're saving yourself eight silver. So you're actually going to make 24 silver more than you would if you buy it instantly. So then you order all your items the night before. And then the, when the next morning you get up, you'll probably have a lot of these items orders filled. And then you basically save yourself a lot of money. So yeah, um, putting buy orders does save you money. It makes you more profit. But we're just going to go worst case scenario. We don't have any items. We don't, ha we don't want to place buy orders. Worst case scenario, we want to buy everything. So we're just going to go ahead and buy three of them. And then I think we need a mithril band and a mithril setting. Now, one thing that's really interesting about this method is, uh, you know, a lot of times people wonder, you know, why is this happening? Why, why, why can people just buy these components and then craft it and then sell it for a huge amount? That's actually a really good question because, you know, this shouldn't be happening. You know, a person shouldn't be able to just buy the components and then, you know, just craft it and make money. I mean, 
there's not really much work that goes into this. And you know, the lower tiers of crafting, if you're like level, you know, if you're like level 10 or level 20 in jewelry, then yeah, you won't see this because everyone can craft that. But the thing is, is that where's the jewelry section? It's over here. The thing is, is that these things require a high level of crafting. Like this barrel ring requires 375. Other stuff requires 400. Some of the tailoring stuff requires 500 crafting, 400 crafting. The reason why you're making profit off of this is because people who aren't that level can't craft it themselves. So you're thinking, oh yeah, but why am I doing this? Someone else can just do it. No, someone else just can't do this. If they don't have the required level, they can't do it. So this is why you're actually making profit even if you have to buy all the materials because of the level requirement. The level requirement for a crafting uh, profession has some value. I guess that's why this is happening, which is good because if you've spent some time um, in, if you spend some time in boosting your crafting up, you can actually make some profit. But you know, crafting is only really valuable if you're at max level, so you can have, so you can really take a look and take advantage of all the recipes. Now, what we're gonna be making, I think, no, this is not it. Um, did I, did I not, did I not uh, pick up? Oh wow, I didn't pick up. This is what I'm talking to you guys. See. But yeah, um, the uh, crafting level does have a does have some value to it. If you're 400 crafting, that's the reason why you're making those exalted those exalted clothing uh, for light armor. If you're making those exalted exotics, uh, you're basically getting two three gold profit, even though you don't have any of the items. Because uh, going through tailoring and bringing up to 400 takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of money to get from tailoring from zero to 400 if you don't have any materials. So. Um, people don't really want to spend a lot of money to boost their crafting up, so they'll just buy the item rather than craft it themselves, which makes sense. So now that we have this, we're just going to drop it in here, and look at that. You see, requires 375. If you're not if you're not level 375, you can't craft this. So that's why it has some value. And as we see, we didn't. Is a this isn't this isn't the exotic kind. Is, uh, is Guild Wars 2 Spidey not giving us the correct, um, well, let's just see. If this sells for a gold, then it's okay. Oh, yeah, I think this is the correct one. Yeah, this is strange. Guild Wars 2 Spidey lists this item as an exotic, even though it's a rare. That's really weird. Huh. Well, anyway, so let's go ahead and list this. I'm probably going to list this a lot lower because I like to... Make sure it sells. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do this. You probably want to list it to like 115 and then one copper less. But, you know, like I said, we're doing this the worst case scenario. Everything worse. We could have made a lot more money if we would have just used our materials, if we would have just ordered the items, and if we would have just made this uh, one copper less than this. But as you see, this is going to sell. It's probably going to take some time to sell. Um, but you're, you're pretty much going to make a one gold and 10 silver, which would translate into... What does Guild Wars 2 Spidey say it is? Yeah, you're probably going to make a profit. Because we, because we put it, uh, 6 silvers less, we're not going to make 43 silver. We're actually going to make like 37 silver or so. So we're going to make 37 silver. Uh, we're we're going to make 37 silver profit. We're going to get one We're gonna get one gold and like... Uh, and like probably like... What's the listing fee on this? The listing fee on this. Transaction fee and listing fee is 15 silver. So we're going to make about 95... Uh, silver off of this and if we take a look at our bot we didn't spend that much we, we, we spent about 55 silver for this another six silver so we spent about uh 62 silver on everything here but we're actually getting 95 silver back so we're gonna make a profit of about 35 silver or so which is pretty good for not much that we're doing we're just you know ordering items crafting them and then selling them uh, like I said, this is a worst case scenario though. Sometimes you'll actually want to put buy orders in. Sometimes you'll actually want to use your materials and you'll make a lot more profit than I am right now. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any doubts, you can take a look at the original video that I linked earlier. Um, in this video, the original video actually, I think we're not making barrel. I think we're actually making an Azerite one and we actually make a lot more profit off of it. So if you have any doubts, you can take a look at that video. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully you learned something, and hopefully this brings some insight into you that crafting can be valuable. The thing is that you just have to commit yourself to bring it up to 400 or 500 to actually get some value out of it. Because anything below anything below 400, well, I guess 375 is okay too. But anything below 350, I think, isn't going to get any value out. I think all the value comes in when you're 375, 
400, 500. That's where the value comes in. So that'll be it for this video. Any questions, comments, any concerns, you can leave them down in the comments section below. I'll definitely try to answer. And uh, that'll be it for this video. We got plenty more Guild Wars 2 gold making videos coming in the future. Um, I was actually supposed to upload a Minecraft Let's Play today with my girlfriend, but we couldn't get that done last night. I do have some pretty cool videos coming up. Uh, one of them has to do with gliding in Clarteria, and one of them has to do with um, websites that are very good to use for the game. Uh, so if you're interested in those, make sure you subscribe because those videos, those videos will be coming uh, very soon. But that'll be for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment below as well and give some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well. And I usually try my best to answer those comments within the next 24 to 48 hours, depending on how busy I am. I also have plenty of other content on my channel about different gaming tutorials, as well as general gaming videos for Guild Wars 2, League of Legends, Minecraft, and any others that you may be interested in. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe too would really appreciate you can also check out my other channels and social medias that show on the screen right now and with that thank you so much everyone and this is gs man smart and i'll be back sooner than you think don't go anywhere